Bionic Dance is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Is morality objective or subjective? A long debated topic. Let's do this. Greetings fellow space travelers, Bionic Dance here. A topic I've not touched in a while is the difference between objective and subjective and into which category morality falls, and after my last video it seems the topic is still being debated. First things first, defining our terms. Part of the problem seems to be that we don't use common definitions, and it seems the reason is that objective seems to be something people want their position to be, that it's more legitimate, more real. And while I understand that, you cannot let it disconnect you from reality. So what are the definitions of these terms? Subjective. Adjective. Existing in the mind, belonging to the thinking subject rather than to the object of thought opposed to objective. In other words, something without tangible existence, something thought or felt, believed. Objective. Adjective. Not influenced by personal feelings, interpretations, or prejudice, based on facts, unbiased, of or relating to something that can be known, or to something that is an object or a part of an object, existing independent of thought or an observer as part of reality. In other words, something with a physical existence. Heck, it's got object right in the name, and that's no coincidence. Look up its Latin roots. Right away, it should be obvious into which category morality falls. It does not come with a physical existence. Morality is an idea, a feeling, existing solely in the mind. If we declare that something is wrong, immoral, we are expressing an opinion. This is why people can have different moral codes, just as they have different preferences or perceptions. So why do some people insist that morality is objective? As I said before, objective seems to lend things more legitimacy. It's something that can be known, exists independent of thought, as part of reality. It means morality cannot be argued with. And while I can understand wanting that, does morality really fit that category? Let's do a little thought experiment. Here is Stan and his friend Meg. Neither of them much care for stealing. They find it harmful. They like their money and their stuff, and taking it seems quite wrong to them. But here is Huey. He makes his living by stealing. To him it's a benefit, and he doesn't really see it as wrong. Or, if he does, he's quite okay with it as long as it doesn't happen to him. Whose view is correct, and whose is incorrect? I'm not asking for your opinion, whether you agree. Goodness knows that I do not wish to be stolen from, but that doesn't make it wrong to anybody but me, and those who agree with me. But that's our moral opinion. Can you show me whose worldview is the correct one in a manner that exists independent of thought as part of reality? How? Now let's add another player. God. God decrees stealing to be wrong, and now Huey is in quite a lot of trouble. But what has really changed? Does God's declaration, his idea about the moral nature of stealing, somehow gain objective status where Stan and Megs did not? Does it exist independent of God's ideas? Oh, sure, he can enforce his ideas rather more strongly than Stan or Meg, but that does not make those ideas objective. It's just God taking action to make his wishes followed. Now, let's assume God, Stan, and Meg go away, leaving Huey. Stealing being okay is the only moral code left. Now Huey goes away. There's nobody left to have an idea about what is and is not okay to do. Where is morality? Does it even exist anymore? Some would have us believe that God's morality somehow sticks around, that it's built into the universe simply because it was God who had the moral code. But they never explain how, in a manner that stands up against logic, in a way that can be demonstrated, in a way that is not best explained by wishful thinking, by wanting it to be so. If morality does not exist if there's nobody to have it, then it is, by definition, subjective. It exists in the mind. It is feeling and opinion, preferences regarding behavior subjective and not objective. I realize some people are not prepared to accept this, that they are very invested in morality being objective and thus not arguable, must be followed. Their worldview is very important to them, and if morality is not objective, it chips away at it. But someday reality must intrude. When it comes to morality, we're all improvising and will disagree with each other. There are no easy answers. That's life. 
cope. Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please think. You've got two choices. You can rate this video and share it everywhere across social media, or I can send my minions after you. Choose wisely.